Love my food gun. Jacob, what are you doing? Taste it. <laughs> Yay! Slowly. Two minutes. And what else do you like? Cheese. <laughs> you are not. Hi guys, welcome to China. Hi guys, welcome to China. This is all oh. about but. me. Can you point at yourself? Me. What me? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you my two-year-old's routine. So basically a day in the life with a two-year-old. Everything from how many meals a day does Jacob get, how many snacks, how many naps, what time do I put him to bed, what time he wakes up. I often wonder how other people do things. So sometimes I think, do other two-year-olds get that many snacks a day? Do they get more? What do they have for their dinner? What do they have for their breakfast? Um, should he be napping at this age or not? So it's quite handy just to know how other people are going about their daily routines with their little ones. Just the other day, I was chatting to a friend of mine and I found out that not only her, but actually a couple of my other friends give their little ones supper before they go to bed. So it's like an additional meal and it could be something like porridge or just a bit of toast. Now I never, I was never brought up with that and I don't do that with Jacob, nor is it something that will fit into our routine, but it was really useful to know and it was actually just insightful to see how other people go about their day. So if you have a toddler or you simply want to find out about a day in the life of a two year old, then keep on watching. But before we begin, if you enjoyed today's video and you haven't already subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Click on the subscribe button below. I would love to have you on here for you to see some more content from me and my family. So let's get into it. Okay, so a day in our life starts anytime between half past five and six o'clock in the morning. Super early, I know, but that is the time that Jacob has been waking up, especially recently. I feel like when he turned two, something happened with his body clock and he's been getting up pretty early in the morning. So we start our day with a cup of milk. Jacob has organic cow's milk and I warm up just a little. We then head into the living room where Jacob will sit and watch a bit of TV. So I give him screen time twice a day and I tend to use it to my advantage. So first thing in the morning, I need to sit and feed Amaya. So that's when he gets to watch Blippi or sometimes nursery rhymes. And then later on in the day when I'm cooking dinner. We have breakfast anytime between 7 and half past 7 in the morning and today Jacob is having banana and peanut butter rolls with some fruit. After breakfast, we head over to the playroom or the nursery as Jacob likes to call it, where they will both sit and play. And recently they have been playing together, which is so nice. Jacob does get a little bit too excited sometimes, so you've always got to have your eyes on them at all times. Wow, am I, are you watching? A dragon. He's really been into his pretend play at the moment, so things like food, snacks and pretending that he's making you a meal is one of his favourite things to do. It's 9am and I've just put Amaya down for her first nap, so Jacob will usually have a shower whilst I sit in the bathroom and express. I'm breastfeeding Amaya, so this is really the only time of the day where I get a little bit of peace and quiet to express whilst Jacob is kept busy. He loves water activities and also the bathroom is the furthest point away from Amaya's bedroom, so it just means there is no noise to disturb her. After our shower, we brush our teeth. Now, we do start with me brushing Jacob's teeth. He does let me most of the time. Uh, we have this thing where I would count to 20. Um, slowly of course <laughs> and then that gives me enough time to get through to all of his teeth and then he takes over.
as it's Sunday today, I usually try and bake just something that will give us a few snacks for the rest of the week and something that's relatively healthy. So today we're making banana muffins. And also as Jacob enjoys baking, it kind of gives him something to do for the morning as well. Oops. Yeah, clever boy. Oops. Oops. Jacob is getting really good with his speech and I'm super proud of him. He's got a really good vocabulary and I feel like a lot of it is down to doing things maybe outside of playing where we could name things like ingredients or if we go food shopping then we can talk about fruits and veg. But I do feel that these activities really help them build their language skills. Jacob, what are you doing? Taste it. <laughs> yeah, but we can't taste it all the time. Right, mommy's gonna come in now. Jacob was supposed to be starting nursery this year, but of course, due to the pandemic where we live, all of our nurseries and schools are closed and everything is done virtually. So we have subscribed to an online class for Jacob. It's really, really handy just to give us a bit of structure for the day. So you get a couple of videos to watch where his teacher would be very interactive with him and it's all around alphabet, numbers, etc. Uh, they have a bit of story time and then we get activities that are associated with the class, which we do afterwards. Letter G. G for what? G for gorilla. Put your foot down off the table, please. Thank you. G for goldfish. I'm giving Jacob his first snack of the day and that usually coincides with his class so around 9.30 and it tends to be something like what we bake today with a bit of fruit. Lunchtime for us is any time between half past 11 and 12 o'clock in the afternoon. Jacob is a bit of a fussy eater. He never used to be, but it was like a light switch that just turned on the minute he turned two. And things that he used to love, like tomatoes for example, he would look at them on his plate as if he'd never seen them before and does not want to taste them, touch them or anything. So the way that I tackle fussy eating, or I have been recently, is basically just to keep exposing him to different foods and veggies. Even if I know that he's not gonna eat them, I will still put them on his plate in the hope that one day he will decide to pick it up and at least lick it or taste it or smell it, because that to me is a victory. I always make sure that on his plate he has a safe food, so that's usually something that I know he loves and will eat, like cheese or pasta or whatever, um, bread, that that's usually something that a lot of children like. So I always make sure there is a safe food on his plate. I then make sure that his plate is balanced. So like there's a veg, there's a fruit, there is some sort of protein. And in terms of his meal schedule, Jacob has three meals a day. So that is breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And he has two snacks a day. One is mid morning and the other one is in the late afternoon before his dinner. Okay, so one thing I did do with this video is I actually filmed this over two days. The reason for that is I wanted you guys to see a day in the life of a two year old whilst we are home all day so we are not going out anywhere and also what happens when we do go out now where we live not a lot of things are open at the moment again because of the covid situation however we try and make the most of the things that are open so right now that's malls for us so today we are going to the mall for a bit of lunch we're gonna go get lunch yay when things are normal, we usually tend to go to soft play a couple of times a week or we would end up going to a museum or something a little bit more educational than the mall. But if this is the only thing that's available to us and it means that Jacob can burn some energy and run around, then so be it. And it just means that we get a little bit of, I want to say fresh air, but it's really air conditioned air. But again, it's just a change of scenery.
<laughs> Clever boy. Careful. So it's now 12.30 in the afternoon, which means nap time. So Jacob has one nap a day, and that usually is between 12 or 12.30 till 2 or 2.30. Two minutes. Two minutes, okay. Is that how long you're gonna nap for? Yeah. Okay. Say good night, it's my nap time. Good night. Say I'm going for a nap. Good night. Jacob has just woken up from his nap and I don't know if this is a phase or it's just my child that tends to wake up in a bit of a grumpy mood. So we try and do things that are a little bit calm and quiet like reading or playing puzzles just until he comes around a little bit. And also this is the time where Amaya is sleeping, she's down for her second nap, so quiet activities suits everybody. Then we're on to our second snack of the day, so this is the one that is in the late afternoon and this will see him through to dinner time. So again, I usually offer things like a fruit, a veg and a biscuit or crackers or our, we love our kiddielicious puffs and veggie sticks as well. Apple. Is that your favourite? Yeah. And what else do you like? Cheese. <laughs> You like apple and cheese? Okay then. It's now three o'clock in the afternoon, so this is when we do our sensory activities. Now we both love doing these. I love setting them up because this is something that I am super passionate about and I used to do for a living before I had my second. And Jacob, of course, loves to explore and sometimes destroy them. Two up. Three up. Three up. Relax. These are great for his imagination. Jacob would sit there for a good 20 minutes, chatting away to himself, pretend playing. They support so many things from independent play to developing creative thinking. I could go on forever because I am super passionate about sensory activities. Once Jacob has finished, he will usually sit and play with some of his toys. He's loving his play mags, which are something that I mentioned in one of my previous videos on what we got him for his second birthday. So I'll link that video down in the description box. But these are also something that I would highly encourage you if you're thinking of a gift or something to buy for your toddler, they will last a lifetime. I actually enjoy playing with them myself. A house. A house. Big house, isn't it? I also do encourage him to sit and play with his toys by himself. I just feel like sometimes kids need to be bored or need to look for an activity themselves to do instead of me constantly interacting with him all day. It helps everybody because I think they build their imagination a little bit further and they build so many other life skills and also we as parents need a bit of a break or I might need to see to my other child. So this is the time where he would kind of have a bit of free play. And then around quarter past, half past four, Jacob will get his second lot of screen time and that usually means I can get into the kitchen and start making dinner. It's 5pm which means it's dinner time in our house and we are having chilli tonight. Jacob is not a big fan of rice so I've made him some pasta to go with his. He also has a yogurt too after dinner and we kind of treat that as his pudding. Bath time is around 6 o'clock and as you can tell we don't actually have a bathtub in our house so we've done a bit of a homemade job by popping in a paddling pool in the shower and filling it up. And 
then around half past six, Jacob will have his milk, same as the morning, organic cow's milk that is slightly warm, and he will read a book, usually with daddy, because I am putting Amaya down. Jacob goes to bed at seven o'clock every night and as you can see, he's still in his cot. We have not transitioned into a big boy bed just yet. I don't feel like we need to anytime soon because he hasn't shown any signs yet. He's not been climbing out, probably because he is in a sleep sack so it kind of helps contain him, but he's sleeping through the night so I just don't feel like it's something that I'm in a rush to be doing. Something else I thought I would mention is that Jacob is still in pull-ups, he's not yet potty trained. He has shown a bit of an interest when he sees some of his friends, but we are actually going on a holiday pretty soon, so I wanna get that out of the way so that there are no dramatic changes in terms of environment or sleep or whatever, and just get us back home and then I'll start. So that'll be probably in the next few months. What's your name? You had Evan. And how old are you, Jacob? Two old. Two old? Two years old. What's your favourite colour? Blue and green and blue. All those colours. <gasps> That's loud. What is it? Someone jumped on a bed. Who jumped on the bed? Man. The man jumped on the bed? Yeah. What happened to him? Jumped on the head on the floor jumped and fell on his head on the floor. Where did he go? Hospital. The hospital. You are not. That's so naughty. Who's naughty? The giraffe. The giraffe is naughty. In terms of Jacob's personality, he's super cuddly, super loving, really kind. I love the relationship he has with his sister as well. Sometimes he gets a bit too excited, but still, I love the fact that he loves her so, so much. And also, we have noticed how inquisitive, and I think everybody says this, but really intelligent that he is. Um, I'd also say that from an honest perspective, Jacob definitely has an angry streak or he gets quite frustrated if things don't go his way. But I don't really blame him because we are both highly strong parents and I think you definitely see a little bit of yourself in your child, especially as they get to this age. So yeah, there's a little bit about his character. Uh, mm, a bit of butter on the inside his nose. <laughs> there's peanut butter inside your nose. Yeah. So tell me, who are your friends? Sophie. Sophie's your friend, okay. Do you have more friends? Yeah. You've got lots more friends. Lucky boy. Lucky boy. Where did the ant take the food? Back to his children. Back to his children. Were they hungry? Yeah. The grasshopper's coming. The grasshopper's coming and what does the grasshopper do? That's my food. What does he say? Where's well, my food gone? Where's my food gone to the ants? <gasps> right, let's count our fingers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. A clever boy. Ten and then? Four. Eleven. Twelve, eighteen, sixteen, fourteen. <laughs> Clever boy. That is the end of our video today, guys. Can you say bye to everyone? Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. If you enjoyed watching today's video, I would love for you to give it a big thumbs up, and I would love to hear any comments you have for me on this video, what you guys do with your two-year-old, if you do anything different, I would love to hear it. Pop it in the comments box below, and we look forward to seeing you in our next video. Bye. Bye. bye.